Moises Caicedo, Moises Caicedo, Moises Caicedo. This guy is causing real trouble in Brighton Hove Albion right now, and we're about to talk about it in this video. I'm so humble, don't play around. This is your time, don't mess around, boy. <laughs> Me telling you who I think should be in each position. Hello Brighton fanatics, welcome back to another Loot Links Brighton video and today is going to be all about one man and one man only, one Ecuadorian in Brighton Hove Albion that is causing trouble in behind the scenes at the moment. His name goes by Moises Caicedo, the 21 year old Ecuadorian midfielder for Brighton Hove Albion. So Moises Caicedo last night came out with a little statement and we're just going to read it out for you and put it up on the screen here so you can see and read along as well. I'm grateful to Mr. Blue Man Brighton for giving me the chance to come to the Premier League and I feel I have always done my best for them. I always play with smile and with heart. I am the youngest out of 10 siblings from a poor upbringing in Santa Domingo in Ecuador. Now, I don't know if I said that city right. I hope I did. Let me know in the uh, comment section. My dream always to be the most decorated player in history of Ecuador. I'm proud to be able to bring record transfer fee for Brighton, which would allow them to reinvest it and help the club continue to be successful. The fans have taken me in their hearts and they will always be in my heart. So I hope they understand why I want to take up this magnificent opportunity. I feel that's quite a big hit on, on, on Brighton's side. And I think, you know, that's going to cause a lot of troubles. And it has caused a lot of trouble throughout the club and throughout other clubs. Arsenal be knocking on the door. Chelsea be knocking on the door. 55 million, um, you know, transfer bid that Chelsea have come through. We've rejected that. We've rejected a 60 mil offer from Arsenal because we do not want to sell Moises Caicedo at this transfer market in January. And they've had numerous meetings, uh, you know, the, the management of Brighton Hove Albion, Tony Bloom, with Moises Caicedo and his new agents that have been a huge issue. And they have specifically told him, we are not looking to sell you in the transfer market. He's literally said how grateful he is that Brighton are playing him every game and he's given the opportunity to, to get better and play in every single Premier League and Cup match. Then he goes and gets new agents. A couple of days later, comes out with this very unexpected statement on his Instagram. And the club are like, um, excuse me, Moises, what are you doing? Why are you putting us in the mud here? We've literally said we're not selling you this transfer market. You've literally come out and said that you're not in a rush to leave either in this January transfer market. And now suddenly you've got these new agents and you want to leave. And then he goes and says, oh, Brighton fans, I hope you understand that I want, you know, to, to be in a better club. You know, that I want to move on with my career. Hold on a minute. Literally a couple of days ago, a week ago, however long it was, you said that you were happy and you weren't in a rush to leave and that you, you were playing every match and you've been, you've been your happiest ever playing football in, a, in Brighton, in a football club ever. He has watched Leandro Trossard force his way out of Brighton Hove Albion and this is exactly what he's trying to do, copying Leandro Trossard, being that bad influence that Trossard was and copying every move to get out of Brighton to be in a better club. It's an absolute disgrace and I do not agree with it. I've said all my life no player is bigger than the club and I hope Brighton stamp down on their feet on this because... If it was me, I would not be having this. This sort of behaviour should not be tolerated and I hope that it gets resolved quickly. So Roberto De Zerbi had his press conference yesterday talking obviously for the up and coming match versus Liverpool of the FA Cup and uh, of course the question came in about Moises Casado, about the transfer rumours with him and about us rejecting the 60 mil bid from Arsenal and uh, this is what Roberto had to say about Moises Caicedo and all the transfer rumours. Now, Roberto De Zerbi, as a fantastic manager he is, as a kind manager he is, he's come through and said, um, you know, Moises Caicedo is a good guy. He's a good guy. 
and he's he's focused only Brighton, uh, supposedly, and that he wants him to stay to the end of the season. Uh, he's also said he's had a chat with him Wednesday um, through through last week. He said to him, "Look, it's very difficult for a player to move in January transfer window. If you don't have to do it, don't do it." Basically, is what he's saying to him, and he's saying. 21 years of age now, Moises, you know, you're doing well at Brighton. There's no rush for you to leave here yet. You know, you can you can finish up the season here. You will still go to one of these big clubs if you keep up your hard work. And he said to him, uh, as he said, like a father and not a coach, uh, and, and was trying to guide him as a player for his future career and saying to him, look, you could definitely stay to the end of the season. It'll be better for you. It'll be less hassle to change, move uh, house, move everything, destination, club. It could do you harm than it do us harm. So I think he was trying to talk to him as a personal level, as a player level, as he, Roberto De Zerbi, was a player at one stage of his career, of course. And he's just trying to give him a bit of player advice from a legend himself, Roberto De Zerbi. You know, I think Roberto De Serbi has, has done all he can do. And I think he's done it in a really professional way. And I think he's done it in a really positive way. You know, trying to talk down to him as a player, as a person for his career, for his life going forward. And um, I think he's trying to help him. I really do. And I think uh, he is a very important player. And Roberto De Serbi knows how important Moises Casado is uh, as as that midfielder, as that, that big role that he plays. And... I think he's trying to, what you know, he is trying to save the player and, and keep us from, from losing anyone, especially a star like Moises. But I think he's trying to help him and give him advice as well. And let's not forget as well that Moises Casado signed a five-year contract in February 2021 with Graham Potter. And, um, you know, he, he's still got three years left on his contract. It wasn't like the, the Trossard situation where Trossard wasn't getting the game time. Trossard was also on six months left on his contract, so he would have had to have either signed a new contract or have gone on a free agent anyway. We've got to remember here that Moises Casado is in a very different situation than Leandro Trossard is. Now, if Moises Casado is trying to leave like Leandro Trossard and force his way into a move to go into a bigger club, it, it doesn't, one, make any sense... And two, there are, they're not in the same situation, you know. As I said, Trossard was on a six-month contract. He wasn't getting played. It's why I'm a lot more angry about this situation than I was the Leandro situation. Because one, you know, we had Evan Ferguson who's playing a lot better. So we didn't, we didn't lose out massively, massively from Leandro Trossard, you know, considering he had six months on his contract, he wasn't really being played. We were doing good without Trossard. Without Moises Casado, we're in massive, deep trouble. Lalana is out on injury for a couple of weeks now. He's not going to be playing in the Liverpool game. You know, it's difficult. We're, we're now very short on players. And this is the big worry in football and in clubs like Brighton Hove Albion that do not have that squad depth is because... If we have some player that's that's messing us about like this, and uh, as as Moises Casado, in my opinion, you know he's in that top three best and most important players in Brighton Hove Albion at the moment. So when something like this happens for a team like us, Brighton, it hurts us massively. So it's just come through that Moises Casado did not turn up to training today, which has now resulted to him not going to be playing in the Sunday fixture versus Liverpool at the Amex Stadium in the FA Cup match. So leading up from him not turning up to training today and all what's going on with him and the club and of course his agents, Brighton have just come forward and said that we are forcing him to have time off and take time to think about his decisions with the club and what he's doing at the moment. I think Tony Bloom is just trying to make a point here that players in Brighton cannot be doing this. You know, it's just happened with Leandro Trossard and it's now almost happening again, but even in a worse state with Moises Casado. And I think Tony Bloom is just trying to say we are not going to tolerate this in Brighton Hove Albion. And that is fantastic. And I'm really glad that Tony Bloom and the management of, uh, you know, Brighton Hove Albion have stamped their foot down and said, no, we are not allowing this to happen. Players are not bigger than our club. 
So then Brighton fans and Ecuadorian Brighton fans, go ahead right now and let me know your thoughts about this whole video and the whole situation with Moises Casado. Do you think he's going to leave this transfer window? What do you think is going to happen for the future in this club for Moises Casado? Is he going to stay for the rest of the season till summer? Is he not? What's going to happen? But to leave this video on a huge positive the Loot Links Brighton channel has just hit 10,000 subscribers and I want to say a massive thank you to you, you, you and you out there for supporting me through these months. It's been crazy. The vlogs have been hitting off massively and I'm trying to make the content better and better each vlog and each video for you guys. But if you've never seen my face before and you are brand new to this channel and it's the first video you've seen and you haven't subscribed yet, could you please subscribe for free right now and turn that bell notifications on so you get notified every time I make a new video. So guys, my like target for today's video is 450 likes. Go down right now and click that like button and give me a thumbs up. It'll mean the world and do me a massive favour. But anyway, Brighton Fanatics, it's been your boy, Loot Links Brighton, and I'll see you in the vlog tomorrow on Sunday for the big Brighton versus Liverpool FA Cup matchup. See you tomorrow for the big game. Peace out.